get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. Sonny Donnelly, IFL TV in association with Matthews Jim Marbella. I'm in Bucca still today, sitting outside a lovely little restaurant with uh, Jimmy Muck. Uh, Jim, how are you? Down five, very good, all good. Good. Um, Hall of Famer now. I feel like they've got a bit more about you. Yeah, yeah you know what? It's um, just obviously just got the award yesterday. It's like, a, I suppose, a lifetime of hard work coming over like success, but it was just like when it's your peers that give you that vote. It means more to me than you know, it's just like so prestigious when you think people from your own sport who know the sport inside out and they put the vote in. So for me, that's that's what it means. It's just like, really pleasing. Like obviously, my mum who passed away a couple of years ago, I know she'd been really, really proud. So if she's proud, it makes me proud. So okay, I'm sure she was looking down, smile on her face. Yeah, mate, definitely. Um, when you first got the letter through the door, what, what were you thinking? Obviously, it's, a, it's not one you get through the door every day, is it? No, not at all. I mean, it's just like when you see how proud people are of you, like my wife, my family, my boys, my brothers, my sisters. That's when it sort of dawns on me, people within the sport, like people who I've known, like Jimmy Tibbs, who's also been inducted, uh, ex-people like trainers, George Francis, Terry Lawless, go right back, Mickey Duff, everyone know Barry Earn. Like, you look down on the list and you see all these people and like, Lots of great fighters. I see John Conaghy, who's my boiled hero, uh, etc., etc., etc. Uh, John Stracy, and then like to see that you're on that same page. It's, it's, it's a great feeling. The award ceremony itself. I know you had to what is it, Hastings or something like that. Yeah, it's in Hastings. Yeah, Hastings. Really well put together. Great, great, uh, great turnout, and um, it was it was it was just fantastic. It really was. It's a day I'll always remember. Up, is, that, is that up there with James winning that world title? Have you been in his corner? Do you know what? That's, the, that's for James winning the world title. That probably rubber stamped me going into the Hall of Fame to train an Olympic gold medalist for the first time uh, in the history of our country to, to win a world title. That's give me the golden bomb. Nothing will ever top James winning the world title. It's just like oh, it's so hard to explain. It's just all that work we put in for years and to go and box on as brilliant as Darrell in his own backyard in America. And go out there and perform as James only James could have performed. I don't know any other fighter I know who could have went and delivered on that stage the performance he put on and to make history. Like that to me, with the exception of me, if I won a world title against Nelson or Mitchell, like it's the same type of feeling, it's just unbelievable. But this is this comes close to it as well. Obviously the I spoke to you, Tom, your son earlier, uh, and he did confirm that it looks pretty much done that the Badoo Jack fight will happen. Can you see James becoming a two belt holder world champion? Yeah, I've, you know, obviously negotiations going on behind the scenes. God willing, it happens. Um, I don't see no similar rate rushing towards James. But uh, if I could speak on behalf of James and just say that I think, you know, he's just getting better with age. He's getting better with his position. He's improved yet again since his last fight I think you'll see in, in this fight you'll see other things that people haven't seen before and you know I just hope that it does happen because I'd love to see James put all the belts together and I believe he's the best 168 in the world and unification is on his list and I think Badu Jack's a fight that will, um, will, will, will motivate James, stimulate James and it'll get, you'll go out and see a, a wicked performance I'm pretty sure of it. Obviously James is the, the fighter you're most well known for training but Today I see you with Jake the Blade Ball, uh, Bruce Bellotti and uh, the new guy, what's his name, Florian? Florian? Yeah, oh. Florian, Romanian boy, very talented, over 216 amateur fights with like, a handful of losses. As you see him today, he's a very, very hot, talented prospect. Bruce Bellotti, a featherweight on the way up and he's, he's going to be a big noise in the division on a big stage. You know, he's, 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 a, he's a very, very special talent. And um, you know, all, these, all these boys coming through, Jake Ball, light heavyweight, like, Southpaw, well over six foot, great rhythm, great speed, um, fantastic prospect, knocking on the door. But these are all apprentices, they're all learning their trade in the background. 
like slowly but surely, and just, just, just like working hard every day and uh, pushing towards um, and using someone like James Gale as an example of what you can achieve through hard work and dedication. Obviously, I know that your sort of training comes like a family anyway because you use both your sons a lot. Um, but when them sort of boys come through the apprentices, do you feel like they become part of the like connected family? Like, yeah, it becomes like one big family because boxing is such a hard sport. You spend so many hours a day together every single day. Um, you know, obviously my boys are my family, but you know they'll tell you themselves. Like all the boys, they're all very close. Like like as a unit, as a like, like a football team that bonds. Like it's all teamwork. So if he ain't there, I'm there. If I'm there, he ain't there. One will do this, one will do that, one will go to the track, one will go so do the strength conditioning, one will go and do... So yeah, so we're, 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 uh, we're multitask. You work, well, you work well together, work well as a team. Um, a big fight coming up on the weekend, Anthony Crollard versus Jorge Linares. Linares is obviously, it's well documented that what happened with him and Kevin Mitchell. Uh, can you see Crollard overcoming it? It's, it's an intriguing fight. It's, um, and I've, I think Crollard is... Um, it's, 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 a, it's got a fantastic um, repertoire. He's, a, he's got a good mindset. He's from a good stable of fighters, and it's you know it's, it's in our backyard. And I just think like, you know what? I think they're on that wave. And I, I, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a hard lift, you know. Obviously, he's boxed Kevin in the UK, so everyone knows the shrimp of it. But I think like. I, you know, it's a fingers crossed fight, so it's a tough 50 50. But I tell you what, it's, it's one I'm going to be have a lot of boxing fans on the edge of their seat, and I really hope he pulls it off. And obviously, a few days ago, obviously, I know you might not watch it because you had your Hall of Fame thing, but Liam Smith versus Canelo. Um, did you see the fight? Yeah, I've watched the fight twice. Um, big, I'm a big Liam Smith fan. I followed Liam Smith's career from when he boxed Steve O'Meara because uh, I know Steve was a very precocious talent, a special talent, a really good fighter, and that was his first loss to Liam Smith. So ever since that day, I followed Liam Smith, and I weren't wrong. He's, you know, he had to be a very special fight to beat Sergio Mira, and um, and even I got I got to speak honest because I'm just going to speak honest. I was one of the people before the fight. I was like saying, listen, don't be surprised. Do not be surprised if Liam Smith does something like that no one's expecting to do. Because I'm a big Liam Smith fan. I think he's a talented fighter, and, and, and you know what? I, I think like at the experience that he's just had, getting in with someone as, as Great, you got used to a great, he's a great fighter. I think Liam's going to grow from it, you know, as long as he doesn't take too much like um, disappointment out of it. I think he can bounce back from that and, and, and go on and, and achieve his dream because he is a quality fighter. And going into that fight, although most people would have said like, you've got to go with like Canelo, like I was, I was looking at it as like there's a possibility that Liam could do it, it's like, that's how good he is, he's a real class act and I think he'll come again. Obviously uh, another Englishman that tried to defeat one of the elite fighters was Kel Brook when he went to get up against Golovkin and obviously come short again, but the question that everyone is asking is will Canelo fight GGG and do you think that will happen? Do you know what, it's a fight that, it's, it's mouth watering, it's two, <laughs> it's two Latin fighters. As the belts on the lines, the prestige of it all. I'm sure Golovkin would take the fight. I don't know um, whether it's a, a double header that um, Canelo. Canelo would want to take the fight, but I think he will. I just think it's probably putting a few things together. But Canelo, to me, is, 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 is a real match, and I, it's, it's, I think I think it's a hard one to call. I mean, most people go with Golovkin, but Canelo's a really good fighter, a really good fighter. So. <laughs> You know, I, I don't know who would win. If I was pushed, I'd probably go with Golovkin. But I think it's a genuine, genuine, genuine 50-50 fight. Most people probably go with Golovkin. You know, he's got the noises, made the noises. And he's a fantastic fighter. But I would not write Canelo off. So he's a fight as a boxing fan. I'd love to see it happen. Oh, well, I hope it happens as well as, as a boxing fan. I reckon it'll be one of them fights where even your, your casual fans will be interested in that one. Oh, I think it, it's the type of fight that will catch, capture the imagination of the boxing fraternity worldwide. Well, I hope it happens 100%, but obviously a more an intriguing fight as well will, will be uh, De Gaulle versus Jack, if it happens, which obviously you'll we'll be more worried about that, I'm sure. But um, we'll see what happens there. But until then, you've got Jake and Reese Elsie next week. Yeah, Jake and Reese box next week. Um, both in, you know, you've watched some spar today, both in, in fine tune, both uh, ticked all the boxes, um, just a couple more boxes to go, but 
both of them looking looking really good and um, looking forward to next week and I'm sure both of them are as well. I'm looking forward to it then as well. I'm sure I'll catch up with you then anyway because yeah, I'll be down there. But until then, uh, Jim, enjoy your tea for a straw. Clever, clever little thing so you don't stain your teeth. I know that works. Your son just told me. But uh, until then, Jim, thanks for coming to IFL TV and I'll catch up with you soon. Cheers, Bye -bye. mate. God bless.